When it comes time to sharpen that knife, is this $2 knife sharpener that sold at Harbor Freight just as good as the one that cost $1,200? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which sharpener makes the sharpest edge. We'll see if some of the knife sharpeners help a blade remain sharp longer than other sharpeners. If it's all about price, you can't get much more affordable than this Gordon brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. It has two ceramic rods for razor sharp edge with little effort. Made of lightweight, durable ABS construction. Simply draw the blade through the V-groove. The Gordon is made in China. To test the sharpeners, I bought eight chef's knives. The chef's knives are made of high carbon Japanese Japanese steel. To measure the sharpness, I'll be using a best certified sharpness tester. I'll be using these test clips with the sharpness tester. There's a piece of test media running from the left side to the right side of the test clip. As the knife edge is pushing downward, the scale is measuring the downward force in grams applied to cut through the test media. Each clip is only used once and then I have to replace the clip with a new one. The sharpness chart came with the sharpness tester. A double-edged razor blade is around 50 and a utility blade is anywhere from 150 to 200. A new high-end cuttery edge is anywhere from 250 to 350. Edges that need maintenance are around 400. A butter knife is around 2,000. The knives look very sharp under a microscope. So let's test their sharpness. Very nice, but not a very precise way of measuring sharpness. I'll go ahead and get our baseline sharpness using a new knife. And 140 is very sharp. The knives are too sharp to compare the sharpeners. So let's run the knives across this metal pipe back and forth five times. I'll add two and a half pounds of weight on top of the blade just to make sure we cause plenty of damage. And that's a pretty bad sound. And the new knife had a sharpness of 140. 1,160, that's a lot of damage. All the knives should be pretty close to equally dull. Before we sharpen the knives, I'm going to use a permanent marker on the knife so we can get a better look at the blade edge during the sharpening process. Let's go ahead and sharpen the knife with the Gordon. Hold the sharpener firmly with one hand while slowly moving the blade back and forth against the sharpening stone. I'll start off with 20 back and forth passes and then we'll see how the Gordon sharpened knife performs. And the knife edge sharpened by the Gordon just does not look very sharp. And a sharpness score of 350 just isn't very good. So let's try sharpening the knife with the Gordon with 20 more back and forth passes. Unfortunately, the Gordon did not make any progress at 350. And a kitchen lens knife sharpener, which costs $11, is probably the most popular knife on Amazon. The knife sharpener has around 30,000 reviews. It's a three-step knife sharpener. The first slot is a diamond sharpening rod which repairs and straightens a damaged blade. The second slot sharpens and restores the V-shape. Finally, the third slot fine-tunes for a clean polish. It even includes a cut-resistant glove. The Kitchelance is made in China. To repair and straighten the damaged blade, pull the knife through slot 1 several times. To coarsely sharpen and restore the V-shaped cutting edge, pull back several times. To finally sharpen, polish, and eliminate burrs on the blade, pull back several times. I went and pulled the knife through each slot 20 times just to make sure that we did a thorough job. And a Kitchelance is performed by far the best yet at 265 With a name like Orange Ninja and a price of $36, I just couldn't resist. Includes 5 different sharpening angles, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24 degrees. All you have to do is place the blade in each of the slots and gently pull the knife through a few times for a fast, effective sharpening. It can be used to sharpen a kitchen knife, pocket knife, and even a hunting knife. The Orange Ninja is made in China. Set the sharpening angle by rotating the angle adjustment knob and turning to the desired angle. I'll go ahead and sharpen the knife to 18 degrees. Use gentle force pushing the blade down while pulling the knife back through the slot. Repeat this action five times for mildly dull blades or more for severely dull blades. After pulling the blade through coarse setting, run the blade on the medium setting three to five times or more if required. Finally, refine the edges by running the blade through the fine setting three to five times. I pulled the knife through 20 times at each of the three stations just to be consistent with the Kitchelance. And the edge shaped by the Ninja just doesn't look very sharp or smooth. And the Ninja really struggled in the first attempt at 410, which is worse than the $2 Gordon. So let's run the knife through each station 20 times again to see if the Ninja can improve. And the Ninja barely edges out the Kitchelance with a sharpness score of 240. At a price of $88 is this Lansky brand controlled angle sharpening system. Includes the deluxe diamond stones. You can sharpen a knife at a 17, 20, 25, and 30 degree angle. I went ahead and spent an extra $15 for the Lansky Universal Mount. The Lansky is made in China. Includes extra coarse, coarse, medium, and fine grit hones. Loosen the front screw for full turns with a dime or screwdriver. Using fingers only, tighten the rear thumb screw all the way in and then loosen two full turns. Place the knife in the jaws of the clamp. Pinch jaws of the clamp with your hand while tightening the front screw. Fully tighten the rear thumb screw to lock the knife in place. Assembling the hone. Place the hone stone down on a flat surface. Unscrew the wing screw and feed the guide rod from the bottom up. Make sure the hone and rod are flush with flat surface. Tighten screw to hold rod securely. Let's sharpen the knife at 17 degrees. Push the hone against the edge while moving the hone towards the tip of the blade covering a two-inch section of the blade per stroke. Once you feel a burr, go ahead and flip to the other side. And the Lansky made very fast work of the blade and there's already a burr that's formed on the opposite side of the blade that hasn't been sharpened. Sharpen one side first and flip 
flip the entire clamp over and sharpen the opposite side using the same number of strokes on each side. While the stones are very sharp, it does take a little bit longer to sharpen the knife with the Lansky compared to the first three sharpeners. Not including setup time, I spent about six minutes sharpening the knife. As you'd expect with the guided sharpening system, the Lansky created a very sharp and straight looking blade edge. Many knife sharpeners leave a burr on the edge of the blade. A stropping leather and some rubbing compound removes the burr and cleans up the freshly sharpened edge. I'll apply a total of 10 back and forth passes to clean up the blade edge for each of the sharpeners designed to benefit from stropping. And the blade edge is very sharp at 110. At a price of $120, is this WorkSharp Precision Adjust Elite Knife Sharpener. The different pieces of the WorkSharp just snap together and it takes about 15 seconds to set up. Include seven abrasive grits including 220, 320, 400, 600, and 800 diamond, fine ceramic, leather strop, and a small ceramic rod. And the WorkSharp is made in USA. Just like all the other sharpeners, let's sharpen the knife at 17 degrees. Turn the adjustment knob to raise or lower the sharpening angle. Loosen the knob to open jaws. Center the blade in the clamp jaws and place the knife spline back into the V-block. Align the cutting edge to be parallel with the clamp jaws. Turn the knob to secure the knife blade in the clamp jaws. Insert the V-block clamp in the sharpening chassis. I'll try to set the sharpening angle as close as possible to 17 degrees. This knife is extremely dull, so let's begin with 220 grit. Using light pressure and long strokes, start at the heel of the blade and swipe abrasive back and forth while moving along the length of the cutting edge towards the tip. Stop on the tip of the blade. Continue until you feel a burr on the opposite side of the blade along the entire edge. Once you've created a burr, press the spring-loaded button on the back of the sharpening chassis and carefully rotate the V-block clamp 180 degrees to sharpen the opposite side. And the WorkSharp has more sharpening stones than the Lansky, and they start out at a less aggressive grit. So it took me about 8 minutes to sharpen a knife for about 2 minutes longer than the Lansky. The sharpener did not come with rubbing compound for the leather strop. So I went ahead and used the same leather strop that I used for the Lansky. And the knife edge for the WorkSharp looks very straight and extremely sharp. And the WorkSharp is even sharper than Lansky at right at 100. Very impressive. At a price of $355 is this Hapstone sharpener. The sharpening stones include 240, 600, and 1200 grit. Universal electroplated diamonds. Pivot unit with fine tuning, linear ball bearing, full 360 degree rotation. When I purchased the Hapstone, it was advertised as having two stoppers for the guide rod. Unfortunately, mine did not come with those pieces. The Hapstone is made in Ukraine. The Hapstone does come with setup instructions, but it does not include instructions on how to actually use the sharpener. The setup only takes a few minutes. You'll need an allen key to secure the knife to the knife sharpener. The knife sharpener also requires an angle finder, and the knife sharpener does not come with one. I'll use the angle finder on the sharpener and then adjust the sharpener to achieve a 17 degree sharpening angle. And the sharpening stones on the Hapstone are about 50% wider and 50% longer than the work sharp and the Lansky. And that really speeds up the sharpening process. Changing out the sharpening stones is also a very quick process. Not including setup time, about 5 minutes to sharpen the knife with the Hapstone. Just like the work sharp and Lansky, the Hapstone created a very straight and sharp edge. And have stone performed very close to the same as the WorkSharp at 105. At a price of $600, is this Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1. The Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1 is made in USA. The sharpening stones include 100 grit, 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000 grit stones. It also includes a 5 and a 3.5 micron diamond and leather strop pack. Sharpening angles range from 15 to 30 degrees with 1 degree increments. Locate the blue base with the attached degree bar. Fasten the vice jaw to the blue base. Mount the sharpening system to the base using the two supplied screws. Slide the guide rod assemblies onto the degree bar such that the ball joints of the assembly face in towards the vise and the thumb screws on the assemblies are facing you. Insert the two prongs of the depth key into the holes in the alignment guide. Using the vise key, loosen the top screw of the vise until the spine of your knife fits easily between the jaws of the vise and rest on the prongs of the depth key. Tighten the top screw of the vise until the knife is lightly held in place. Then tighten the bottom screw until the knife is firmly held in place. Loosen the thumb screws on each L bracket and then slide them in or out along the degree bar until the inside edge of the L bracket is aligned with the desired degree mark. Then tighten the thumb screws by hand. Sharpening the knife. Place the top of the red 100 grit coarse stone flat against the heel of the knife. When you are first sharpening a blade, successfully drawing a burr from each side is the most important step. Do approximately 10 strokes on one side of the knife only and then check the opposite side for a burr. Once you've successfully created a burr on one side, repeat this procedure on the other side. The feature I like the best with the Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1 is being able to use alternating back and forth passes to sharpen the knife. And the knife edge definitely looks the sharpest of all yet. And the Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1 just tied to work sharp with the sharpest edge with a score of 100. I previously tested this sharp and decided to throw it in the showdown again since it performed very well. The Wicked Edge comes inside of a very nice carrying case. You can easily adjust the sharpening angle by adjusting this lever. It includes half degree increments and micro angle adjustment of 0.05. We'll set the sharpener to 17 degrees. The Wicked Edge is made in USA. The sharpening stones include 100, 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1000 grit diamond stones. Attach the alignment guide to the depth key and insert two prongs to the depth key into one of the two depth settings located at the top of the vise. While holding the vise with one hand, lift the vise lever to its resting position. Place the spine of the knife in the holder and then lower the vise lever to lock the knife into position. Slide the 100-200 grit handles onto the guide rods. 
Just like the Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1, the Gen 3 Pro uses the same sharpening stones. However, the Gen Pro 3 holds the knife much higher up. Having the knife higher up really seemed to help me provide a more effective sharpening technique. Just like the Pro Pack 1, it took me about 4 minutes to sharpen the knife. And the knife sharpened by the Wicked Edge looks extremely sharp. And the Wicked Edge Gen 3 barely edges out the Wicked Edge Pro 1 with a very impressive score of 90. When it comes to initial sharpness, the Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro came out on top with a sharpness score of 90. However, the Work Sharp and the Wicked Edge Pro 1 were just about as sharp with a score of 100 and Hapstone 105. The amount of time it takes to sharpen a knife can vary significantly from person to person. From my experience, the pull-through knives were definitely a lot faster than the guided rod systems. Fully dried and cured Osage joints has a wood hardness of around 2500 on the Janka scale. I've seen sparks fly off of a chainsaw chain trying to cut through this stuff. I'll add 15 pounds of weight on top of the knife. And the knife sharpened by the Gordon sounds like it's grinding against the Osage Orange. So let's test the durability of the blade edges by making 40 back and forth passes across the wood. And there's some Osage Orange on part of the knife, but not on the very edge of the blade. And the Gordon started off with a sharpness score of 350, and now it's at 470, a loss of 120 sharpness points. Just like the Gordon, the Kitchen Lens also has some Osage Orange on the bevel, but none on the cutting edge. Unfortunately, the Kitchen Lens really struggled in this test at 575. And the Orange Ninja created a knife edge that's much more polished than the Gordon and the Kitchen Lens without the Osage Orange buildup. And the Orange Ninja is the sharpest yet at 405. And the Lansky is the first of the rod guided sharpening systems and it still looks very sharp. And the Lansky started off at 110 and is still very sharp at 125. And the Work Sharp started off sharper than the Lansky with a sharpness score of 100. And the Work Sharp is still very sharp at a score of 125. And the Hapstone started off at 105. And the Hapstone held up really well, only losing 25 sharpness points, dropping to 130. And the Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1 started off with the same sharpness score as the Work Sharp at 100. And the Blade Edge is still extremely sharp at 125. And the Wicked Edge Gen Pro 3 started off the sharpest at 90. And the Wicked Edge ended up at just about the same sharpness as the other sharpeners at 120. So after 40 back and forth passes across the Osei joins, the Wicked Edge Gen Pro 3 is still the sharpest knife. However, three of the other sharpeners ended up in a tie. Another way to look at the results is to consider the percentage of sharpness loss. A super sharp knife is more subject to blade roll and doling. While the Lansky didn't start off as sharp, it experienced the least percentage of sharpness loss at 13.6%. However, the Hapstone, Work Sharp, and Wicked Edge Pro Pack 1 also performed very well. The Wicked Edge knife sharpeners are very nice, but they're also very expensive. For that reason, I really like the Work Sharp or the Lansky. Both of them are very good knife sharpeners that create a super sharp edge. All the videos in this channel include this one, our viewers suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.